has when we will be testing on a machine called desktop hyphen f 7 e this is a machine and you can check out here the adobe reader is not uh, not found so this machine is dedicated for uh, mr david and uh, we are going to target the specific machine by going to microsoft intune portal devices and we would be uh, going for all devices and the desktop computer name would be desktop hyphen fo and if you see the non compliance is there but you can ignore that because i did uh, disable firewall for other testing purpose but let's uh, check the managed applications currently it is only have a target of two applications one would be the putty application other one would be the office 365 and these two are uh, already deployed for that specific machine and there are no issues reported now we are going to deploy deploying Adobe Reader, uh, which is a Win32 based application, um, which means you have the MSI as a source or maybe as EXE, and you are converted that with the help of the tools uh, which are provided by Microsoft Intune. And now uh, that uh, entire package, the compressed package, has to be uh, pushed to this machine. So that's the ultimate goal. So let's uh, jump into the uh, opening into another tab, I would uh, like to add this computer name to to the computer name to the a newly created group or let's use existing group maybe we can do that. So let me go back to uh, client apps first and show you the application which we which I'm talking about uh, which is a Win32 specific application. In this case, the second one, which is Adobe Reader uh, X version with 32 application. So once I open that, uh, you can check out the assignment. Uh, in this assignment, currently it is targeted to all Windows 10 devices. Uh, that's just a group name, but it doesn't mean that it's already have that specific application. And these are the configuration which we have already witnessed in the uh, beginning of this video. Now I'm going back to the uh, opening the Azure AD in another tab and then going back to the groups and then I'll just go back to all Windows 10 into group and I would just take that group and I would change the membership so let's search for that group called uh, all Winton devices in this group I'm going to add a new computer name which is desktop hyphen F07 E I G G so just go to the members and uh, here there is a currently one, only one computer which is PC hyphen or uh, on-prem. I'm going to search here uh, a little bit down. There should be a computer called desktop hyphen. Uh, that should be or I can type it in fact if I want but or uh, th that's okay I got it here. So I'll just uh, take that so that now the group has the membership of two. Let me uh, go back to another uh, tab which is assignments in this case that specific application you can see that this specific application already targeted to win 10 uh, all uh, devices so now uh, if i go to the device uh, installation status there's nothing and on this machine also there's nothing in fact so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to uh, force the synchronization process uh, so that um, my Intune client will go and sync with Microsoft Intune server. Uh, to do that, I've run the accounts. I'm just going back to the access. I'll just sync this button. So it's going to sync up. So this might take some time. Um, now I will just go back to my uh, refresh. Since I just refreshed, I'll just go back to Microsoft Intune portal. Uh, let me open Microsoft Intune portal and if I start here refreshing it should be appearing now another application which is Adobe Reader X version and if I just uh, check the properties it should also show when it is created whether the agent has checked the policy or not because we just synced it so let me refresh here if you can see here this this is the one just just added this application and if I just uh, take it uh, properties of this application just double click that or one click you will have another blade which is clearly clearly giving the information like agent install time 
or device loss check-in policy information or application when it is created. If you see the application got created on uh, August 18th, but the agent was installed on that specific uh, one would be the uh, 30th of August and 31st got the last device has been checked. That means we just had it uh, today which is on 31st August in 2019, we added the specific agent for the target. So that that's what the information it is showing from the SU console or the portal into a portal console. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just also uh, refresh this uh, since I already refreshed. Let me go back to the machine, client machine and see this client machine uh, here, uh, if you see here, there are only six different applications, but there is nothing in the programs and features or identity programs. There's nothing called Adobe Reader at this point of time because in the background, it is actually downloading with help of uh, different extensions. So let me show you that extension also for you. If you just go to the start button and you would be actually finding Microsoft Intune Management extension. So this is an extension which is a core component which will be useful for you and in fact this is going to run as the service also as a service in the background if you go to the services.msc we will be anyway you know, I'm going to show you that in a minute or so but let me explain before that uh, this is the management uh, extension which is fully responsible for uh, any Win32 specific applications which we are in fact trying to do in this demo. And if you don't have this agent, even though into an agent has installed, for some reason, if this is not there, uh, you don't get that specific uh, application installation. It, it may not happen with the installation or it never triggers that specific installation. So you should be uh, checking into that. So in that situation, you may have to uh, think about uninstalling or, or removing the agent and re-enrolling that specific device or you can raise the Microsoft keys. So just open up that and um, uh, that's a simple uh, command line kind of thing. It's just disappears. So let me open the services.msc. I don't need to enter all these uh, things but I'm just trying to show you what will happen actually in the background. It's going to run that specific service. If I want to force that uh, installation and other things to be done, I would actually restart the service. So let me show you Microsoft Intune Management Extension. This is a service and I'm just trying to restart this just for the demo purpose but you don't need to do anything. And also I did the sync. Now if I just refresh it should be coming up here after a minute or so automatically agent uh, has pushed and now app has installed successfully if I just go back to the add and remove programs or install program and features uh, it's not the six applications now uh, and if I just refresh it's gonna add one more application so total seven should come and Adobe Reader X has been already installed that's how it's gonna uh, come and if you can see the Adobe Reader also marked in the uh, start programs files so this is how it's gonna work and this is a live demo on Win32 specific applications and these are legacy applications it's not from your store or it could be your on premises line uh, on premises some kind of application you want to push it so this is how you're going to push it thank you for watching this i hope this is useful for you